Good morning, everyone. How are you? I am fine. Uh, today, I am going to show you uh, a quick and important uh, tasks that we all need to do on our AWS management uh, piece. So, and the main task is uh, creating a billing alert. So, we we get bills per month, and we want to get notified when the billing is getting exceeded our uh, expected value. So, for example, <coughs> I was planning to have a bill of like uh, twenty dollars or ten dollars per month, but then suddenly in the middle of the month, something I turned on and I just forget to turn it off, and then the bill went out fifty dollars. To to avoid these issues, I just wanted to create a billing error that so that I can get notified when it is crossed my limit or my expected value then i can take actions or see what's going wrong and how i can minimize this or turn off some services or something etc etc so get started i am I'm, I'm on the billing dashboard so uh, here you can just go to here the billing dashboard then i go to the billing preferences and then i want to receive billing alerts save preferences good then i need to go to cloud watch because all alerts you can create by cloud watch so let's go to cloud watch then i'm going to create an alarm because alarms are only you can create by the cloud watch and that alarm will email me when the bill has exceeded a particular limit Okay, so uh, let's change this region to uh, Northern Virginia. Because billing alarms for the time being we can create only in Northern Virginia. Then uh, go to the billings. Inside alarms, we have billings, and then we're going to clear an alarm. That's important. Create an alarm. Select matrix. Okay, uh, the matrix are for billing. Total estimated charge in USD. Okay, I have selected the matrix. Okay, uh, now um, what I need to do is I just want to say that if it's greater than fifteen dollars, then it should notify me, right? Because I I see last month billing around ten dollars, so I just set the bill alarm for fifteen dollars. And it should be sufficient, it should not cross. But if it's crossed, then I should get notified immediately and take actions. Okay, then uh, click next. Okay, then I need to uh, choose a notification. What should happen? I can choose a SNS topic, I can choose nothing. Let's choose an SNS topic that I have created previously. Okay, and there is no SNS topic. What we can do is uh, create a new topic. Okay, and then let me give my email address. Okay, so I'm going to create a topic for the billing alarm. Create topic. Topic is created and selected. That's fine. Is to actions, no action is required. Okay, let's go. Alert name billing cost fifteen dollar. Okay, billing cost fifteen US dollar. Okay, 
this happens then this is just a uh, notification okay so um, this is my preview these are my conditions to scale the alarm okay. so this is my alarm uh, there is insufficient data because uh, you just need to have give them some time to collect the data of my last billing and current billing and then they can create those alarms and send emails so far so good i am set up everything and if this happens then i will be notified however this is still below my threshold level and there will be no email sent but when this happens i will get an sms and email it can be sms as well and i, I also say there are a lot of options in sms like http endpoint you can uh, put in the lambda functions anything can happen so uh, that's it for today uh, i hope you enjoyed this and uh, please subscribe to my channel to support this uh, effort of creating those aws videos that helps other people to learn aws thank you bye